You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike Air Max Plus. These are the Nike Air Max Plus in Voltage Purple. If you're a fan of the channel or you're familiar with our channel, you know we love Air Maxes over here. We love classic 90s runners. We want to give a shout out to 1985 Gallery for letting us get another early look at this classic Air Max right here. And the Air Max Plus consists mostly of this mesh upper with synthetic overlays. It does have a two-tone tongue with black and purple. You do have that black new buck at the top that houses the swoosh air branding in black and orange. They come with black circular laces and they have black eyelets which are attached to the black piping that go around the tongue. For the majority of the tongue, it's this cascading purple color with 3M hits going down the middle. As you get to the toe box, you have more of those 3M hits and you do have black synthetic overlays. And for the mud guard, you have this visible plastic piece which looks like it's kind of heat pressed on to hold all of the shoe together in the front. Taking us to the side panel of the shoe, you have more of those synthetic overlays in black and you do have small orange Nike swooshes with black outline. Right underneath that, you do have this overlay. It's like a new buck material and it separates the upper from the midsole. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you do have another new buck overlay that holds the classic TN Air logo and that puffy plastic material that sits on the heel cup. They feature a white midsole that houses the air units. The air units are orange, and then you also see the polymer hemispheres in yellow and red. They feature a plastic stability plate in the middle of the midsole that leads into the outsole which has a visible cage in the middle and another TN Air logo. Taking us to the forefoot of the midsole, you do have that classic waffle traction in black and purple. Taking us to the heel of the midsole, you do have this puffy plastic piece in the middle, same pattern as the upper with the black and purple. And then you do have these yellow circular grooves, which are placeholders for the polymer hemispheres within the air unit. For those of you who might not know, the Air Max Plus commonly known as the Tuned Air 1, made its debut in 1998, and they were designed by Sean McDowell. The cascading mesh upper with these colors was made to represent the different hues that you would see in a sunset, while the black overlays were inspired by palm trees blowing in the wind. That stability plate in the middle of the midsole was inspired by a whale's tail, and it does have a similar shape. The Air Max Plus was the first runner to feature Nike's tuned air technology, which combines two polymer hemispheres with the air unit to absorb shock. And they were also one of the lightest runners of their time, just weighing under 12 ounces. Although the Air Max Plus was a hit here in the United States, nothing compares to the loyal following it's built overseas, especially in places like the UK, France, and Portugal. Over the years, we've seen brands like Supreme and Pata put their twist on this classic iconic Air Max. And we've also seen Nike release a plethora of colors, especially some of the classics like Sunset Orange and Hyper Blue. A little fun fact about the Voltage Purple, it was an original color that was mocked up in 1998, but they didn't release until 2018, and they get their first retro in 2024. The Air Max Plus will be releasing on January 20th at a price point of $180. If you're in the area, make sure you stop by 1985 Gallery to grab your pair, and you might as well grab the matching shirt while you're at it. They'll have them for sale. As far as comfort and sizing goes, you can definitely feel the air units in the forefoot and the heel, and that mesh upper still makes it a very lightweight shoe nearly 25 years later. Sizing, I recommend going a half size up. That's what fit me best. And as far as style goes, like I mentioned, it's one of those classic Air Max silhouettes, one of the most sleekest silhouettes for an Air Max, very lightweight, goes really good with that Gorp core aesthetic, but I've also seen people get some fits off in the summertime. You really can't go wrong. But how do you guys feel about the Nike Air Max Plus? Is this a colorway you've been looking to pick up? Do you have some of the other colors? Are you more of a fan of the Air Max Plus 2 or the Air Max Plus 3? I know the shoe does have an extensive history, so if I missed anything, or if I miss why it's popular in different regions of the world, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Put us on, enlighten us. Love chopping it up with you guys. And if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We do appreciate all the support. But let's go ahead and try these on. Zoom flight 95, carbon fiber on the side. Hey, I'm really that guy. Yeah. Can't touch base, can't hit me offline. I always come through, but I'm rarely on. 
time my bad big hat they bit that so i switched that we be dream team same click back y'all click base shit's whack but you posting your story off top i skip that we in the field no two hand touch big swoosh on the dunk spike you damn bush trying to push coops with no roof and such with my head out that bit i'm cute as fuck at least my girl thinks so nine with billionaires the world's been slow super villain like hank scorpio can put on for the city till the curtains close uh. till then we gon' still win yeah. till i stack a couple mil or in ill 10 i ain't chipping off your little friends they do this they do that i don't feel that nah i took some time off but i'm still here i expanded my bag that i've been if you enjoyed this review on the nike air max plus make sure you check out all our other air max reviews right here we have a few for you guys to enjoy make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as there is a lot more content on the way we'll catch you on the next episode